Where are you going to be a year from now? Who are you going to become over the next year? And what are you going to do about it every single day? What disciplines, what daily activities, what action are you going to put into place to become that different leveled up growing version of you to succeed, to have those goals accomplished and to be able to a year from now, two years from now, look back on today and say, man, I am so grateful for the work that I've put in. Man, I am so grateful for all those hours that I put in over this last year, over these last two years. It will be such a sense of accomplishment and a sense of fulfillment. But at the end of the day, it's up to you whether or not you make it happen. And the variable of that success will be the work that you put in today. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Sales Wolves podcast. I am your host, Tyler Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ow! That was kind of a weak one, but I'm still getting over a little cold, so that's all you get. Sorry. Today's episode is episode 111. And as you can see, I am by my lonesome. Joseph Caldwell has left the building and left the country. He uh, went on a trip. Um, so it's just me in the studio here, but I'm extremely excited to talk to you guys uh, real quickly today uh, about a topic that is near and dear to my heart, and that is consistency, hard work, and following through. Uh, I, I had a guy comment on a post the other day, and to be honest, I don't even know how this guy went that deep into the posts, but he went back to January 16th, 2017. And it was a picture of just some words. And it said, a year from now, we'll see who was really working. And I put a quote in the caption of Andy Frisella, who you know I love. And it said, lots of people wanting everything and doing nothing. And the guy's comment, his name is Travis Nelson, and he made a comment on that post. This was literally yesterday. And he said, doing a little looking back in time, like a mad stalker, <laughs> he said, but glad to see, or glad to have come across this. Looks like you took your own advice. And, and I responded, I was like, holy cow, this was over two years ago. And he went on to respond uh, that it gave him, uh, that he had so much more respect for me after having seen that. The interesting thing about that post is when I looked back at it, it had five likes. There were five likes in that post. And those were probably like my personal page and like one of my best friends and like my wife or something. Uh, but it only had five likes. And it was a pretty audac audacious statement. A year from now, we'll see who was really working. And, you know, a lot of times you hear this stuff and, and you just think it's blowing smoke, right? The smoke before the fire. But it's so amazing to be able to look back and to see something like that and then to just think of all the insane work that has gone in over this last uh, over two years to, to where we are now. And you guys have heard me say this before, and I'll say it a million times that you, know, you rarely trust words uh, or never trust words, actually never trust words, rarely trust actions, but always trust patterns and patterns are consistency. Consistency is key. We all know that. But consistency, I have so much respect for because consistency shows discipline. And discipline is what ultimately it takes to succeed. Discipline is what gets you up in the morning. Not motivation, not inspiration, not passion, discipline. And to think of the hours put in over those two years. And then on social media, to think of the post, the over 5,000 individual pieces of content that have been created and distributed uh, over that time. And then to be able to get this little quick reminder of where it all began. I mean, that was you know, a month in uh, to documenting my life on social media and to see that there were five likes and to know that I posted that and, and meant it 
but that only five people basically said, that's great, or we support you, or at least that's a cool quote is so awesome because now obviously we get more than five likes on things, but it wasn't that way always. When we got on Facebook Live in the very beginning, it wasn't always 10, 30, 40, 50, 100 people. A lot of times it was nobody. A lot of times it was my mom and a random dude from high school. And so these these small beginnings uh, make the success now and the momentum now mean so much more. And it's it's always great to have these types of reminders that, you know, it wasn't that long ago when you were making these big declarations, these big promises of things that were going to come. But man, it's it fills me with so much gratitude to know that I put the work in, that I stayed consistent, that I had the discipline to get where we are now. And so here's my challenge. Here's my question to you. As you look back on the past two years, as you look back on the person that you were two years ago and the things that you said you were going to do, the things that you said that you were going to achieve, the success that you said that you were going to have, the goals that you said you were going to hit, how did that work out for you? Did you hit them? Did you accomplish it? Did you reach those levels of success or didn't you? And then why? What's the reason behind that? Chances are it all boils down to work. Did you put the work in or not? And so it's good to reflect, but now let's talk about today moving forward. A year from now, we'll see who was really working. So where are you going to be a year from now? Who are you going to become over the next year? And what are you going to do about it every single day? What disciplines, what daily activities, what action are you going to put into place to become that different leveled up growing version of you to succeed, to have those goals accomplished and to be able to a year from now, two years from now, look back on today and say, man, I am so grateful for the work that I've put in. Man, I am so grateful for all those hours that I put in over this last year, over these last two years. It will be such a sense of accomplishment and a sense of fulfillment. But at the end of the day, it's up to you whether or not you make it happen. And the variable of that success will be the work that you put in today. So, an interesting kind of flashback memory that just popped up. And I thank Travis Nelson for going that deep in, into the post and finding that because it honestly made my night. Uh, I posted it in my Instagram stories and, and it was just such a cool thing to be able to, to go back and, and look at that post. Uh, but guys, I challenge you. Look back two years. Where are you? And now look two years in the future, where are you going to be? And what are you going to do about it? With that, guys, this is episode 111 of the Sales Wolves Podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ah, ooh.